Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you the technique behind how I modeled this object, which is also a good introduction to the new volume tools inside Cinema 4D R20. Start off by grabbing a sphere, change the segments to 100, and the type to icosahedron. Then grab a cloner and grab another sphere, change the radius to 20, segments to 50, and the type to icosahedron, and put that inside the cloner. Select the cloner and go to the object tab and change the mode to object and put the original sphere inside the object section here. Increase the count to 342. With the cloner selected, go to the MoGraph menu here and grab a random effector. Go to the parameters tab, disable position and enable scale, Enable Uniform Scale and change the scale to 0.5. Cool. Select the cloner again. Go to the MoGraph menu, go Effectors and grab a Push Apart Effector. Instead of using the Push Apart mode, we want to use the Hide mode. Change the radius to 20. And then now, you should see that none of the spheres are intersecting. Next, we want to grab a Capsule. Copy this original cloner and rename the original cloner to cloner spheres and the new cloner to cloner capsules. Delete that sphere and put the capsule inside the cloner. With the capsule selected, change the radius to 4 and the height to 125. Select the cloner, go to the transform tab and then rotate it by 90. Next, we want to create a volume builder and a volume mesher. Put the builder inside the mesher and disable the mesher for now. And before you can use the builder, we need to duplicate our original sphere. Rename the first one to sphere outer and the new one to sphere inner. Then select our cloner capsules and copy that as well. And then select the capsule inside here and change the radius to 8. Now we can use our volume builder. So you need to select your sphere outer, cloner spheres, sphere inner, and cloner capsules one, and drag them into the volume builder. So if I collapse that, you should see that we only have the cloner capsules outside of our volume builder. Now before we do anything, we need to select our sphere inner and change the radius to 80. And then we need to select our volume builder change the voxel size to 2 so that we can see what's going on and make sure the sphere inner is just above the sphere outer and that your layers are arranged like mine are. Change the mode for our sphere inner to subtract so that means this object should be hollow and then our cloner capsules we need to change that from union to subtract as well. Cool so we're almost finished here and it's looking pretty good. Select our volume builder and we just want to add a smooth layer and put that on top so that it fixes any weird geometry going on and then just change the voxel size to 0 0.5 and there we go just remember to enable the volume mesher and that concludes the end of this tutorial if you'd like to know how I rendered this I'll add a link in the description where you can download my project file so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and that you've learned something new. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment down below. And if you could remember to like and subscribe, I'd really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.